Hello friends, welcome to this episode of Cataract Mentors. As experienced cataract surgeons, you may find the highest complication rate if you do a backward analysis in very hard cataracts or in very soft cataracts. Now in this episode of Cataract Mentors, I'm going to show you how to handle single-handedly a very soft cataract. Of course, the patient underwent a femto, so my rexis and my fragmentation is ready. So how, without using the chopper or your non-dominant hand, we can just go and pick up each piece of a very soft cataract and make sure that it's successfully done. And that's followed by irrigation aspiration by manual and that's followed by a trifocal lens in the bag. So this is another technique called a single handed technique. The patient has undergone flax, there are already six pieces of the cataract there. The CCC has been removed and this is a soft cataract. So really not much energy is necessary, it can just aspirate the cataract out. But I'm not using the non-dominant hand at all. So you can see that because the six pieces are lying free there, it's very easy to just occlude the phaco tip and aspirate the small, small pieces of cataract which are lying there. You can see that the vacuum set is only at 300. There's hardly any power being used. On and off, you'll see the aspiration depending on the occlusion at the tip. And the same way, the whole central nucleus, all the six pieces are being aspirated at the same time, one by one. Once that is done, one has to go ahead to do the biomanual IA. Don't forget that when patient undergoes flax, there are no free floating cortical fibrils just below the CCC. Actually, the cortex is cut 200 microns or 300 microns below the CCC. And that's the reason why when one has to do a biomanual IA, after flax, there's a special technique of change of IA where one has to go below the CCC to hold on to the cortex, aspirate it and completely remove the cortex. So very easy, go underneath the CCC, hold on the cortex, once you hold on to the cortex, aspirate it and bring it to the center, face the aspirating port towards you and then increase the vacuum. So you will see the vacuum increasing, the maximum vacuum set here is 500 and when the vacuum goes up, all the cortical matter really gets aspirated. So this technique works very, very well. The safety factor here is occlude aspirate and increase the vacuum when the aspirating port is actually facing you and this will prevent all the complications which can happen during the step of irrigation aspiration. Once three-fourth of the cortical uh, matter is removed, one can just go ahead and then do a change of hands. Once the change of hands are done, just go ahead and aspirate the rest of the cortex. Now this patient wanted a trifocal IOL, so we have to implant the lens into the bag and as you all know that I like to implant or one has to implant all the IOLs horizontally and that's known to prevent the negative dysphotopsia or at least help the patient to prevent negative dysphotopsia. So fill up the bag, I always don't do a hydro uh, implantation, I like to put a viscoelastic inside the bag and then implant the iron into the bag. So you can see the leading haptic gently opening into the bag and once that is done, the trailing haptic can either be nudged into the bag or dialed and rotated into the bag. And as I mentioned that I like to do the implantation under the viscoelastic, it's very important to remove the viscoelastic after the iron implantation into the bag. Don't forget that this viscoelastic gets compartmentalized into the viscoelastic in front of the aisle and viscoelastic from behind the aisle. And that's very important that the compartmentalized viscoelastic which is behind the aisle is also removed. So you saw that in one gush the viscoelastic in front of the aisle has all come out. And then I like to go in with the irrigating port itself below the aisle and you can see that I'm doing that and one port of irrigation faces the back surface of the aisle and one towards the posterior capsule, so you really can't damage the posterior capsule. But this removes all the viscoelastic from behind and in front of the aisle. And this will center the aisle automatically and place any antibiotic intracameral if you want.